happy Monday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa at Rave Home Collection. And I am Melissa Murrow with Rave Home Staging. <laughs> I'm just never gonna get used to these bright lights, but at it's least you can see really us. really so. awful, yeah. yeah. It's pretty, it's like, it's a bad sunburn. Anyway, it is Monday, it is Makeover Monday, and we are making over your Monday. We are, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've had some people asking about making over mirrors. Mm -hmm. We have and a plethora of them back there. So. Yes, and we have a whole bunch in the yes, back. Yes, we do. A plethora of these. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? There's like one or two back there. Yeah, there's a, well, we, we're actually, we're, we've narrowed them down, but this is kind of a nice one. It's a good flat surface to yeah. work on. And and exciting, you can kind of see our sign. Yeah, I mean, you can't see the top of our heads, but who needs to see that? Anyways? But we have it down below so that you can kind of see a little yes. bit more of what we're doing today. Oh. Well, the view she had earlier was the camera up higher, and all you could see was... Our, our chin reflection in the mirror. I'm like, no, 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 that's no, not no, gonna no. work. We decided that wasn't good. No, no. So we're gonna work this out for you. So we're gonna be showing you how to um, actually add some decorative. This piece is, um, I got this from somebody I bought a whole bunch of furniture from, and this was included in what I bought. And I, it was a great deal, but this piece looks like it was just an inexpensive, yeah. inexpensive mirror to begin with. And then it, they they taped off and spray painted, and not very well. No. Um, this frame, which is just sort of boring anyway. Mm -hmm. So my plan is we're going to add some floral molds around mm -hmm. the corners, mm -hmm. and we may or may not do a transfer as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just going to Teresa and I are going to tag team this and uh, kind of get this zhuzhed. Zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. So that's the plan. And this is a nice choice of a mirror because of this nice big wide flat space around at the framing, so. Yeah, you wanna grab some of those. I'm just gonna give this a scuff sand real quick. And basically that's just to, again, this was sand, this was uh, spray painted. And yeah. so it's kind of got a little bit more of a slick surface to it. And this isn't required, but it is helpful. Right. Um, and so we've got our redesign by Prima Trance, or um, since Trance the heck, uh, molds, molds over here, sorry. I don't say molds very much because I don't use them. Um, and we're gonna go with like a floral theme. So we're just gonna kind of look through, I'll kind of pull out some florals and get, and there's like billions of different molds. These she doesn't awesome. use them much until now. Until ever, unless Melissa says, guess what we're doing on live today? I'm like, oh, I guess I'm using a mold. Yeah, but then just like so many other things, as soon as you've started playing with them, you're like, oh man. Have Anyway, I mean, you can use them whenever you want. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to find out today. I'm going to learn along with y'all. Okay, so here's some floors. Take a pick from some of those. And here's some little... Floor. So I want to show you just how easy these are. Yeah. Um, I've worked with a bunch of these. This, is, this one is one of my very most favorites. This um, is the In the Garden in the garden. In Ooh. the garden. Oh, that's nice big full flowers. Yeah, I too. really, this is one of my most favorites, actually. Right, so here's a couple more. Um, I really okay. love some of those swirls, too. Are we doing swirls? I mean, we can. It doesn't mean it's entirely up to us. All right, well. I'm... It's entirely up to us what, what we choose to do. What are you feeling? Um, here's some mini swirls and some minor swirls. So um, we're going to be using the modeling material, and um, we sell this in a two pound bucket and also a smaller. I think it's clay. one pound. I think it's one another smaller <laughs> one that's one pound. Um, so I feel like kindergarten all over. Kind of. Yeah, yeah it's, smell it's it a like it's a Play-Doh smell. <laughs> you know that's it's, it's a little bit like Play-Doh. So we're basically going to start taste off the same. or smell the same. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, it's not bad. I know it's not it's just not Play-Doh, you know. You know, it does not Play -Doh it does smell. not smell like like uh, salt. You know what I just thought of? I'm going to one hand this because I have no oh, grit. No. That's okay. I can, okay. I'm good with the one hand here. I've been doing good. So, so yeah, hand. you just kind of um, get it soft in your fingers. And okay. I usually pull apart if you need me to help you get it soft. No, I, I can. Um, and we're just going to literally just kind of hover it into the mold and squish it in there. So I like to start getting mine soft and then start like making them flat, basically. Okay. Like a little pancake. Alrighty. Um. What am I gonna grab this? Are you using that one? Yeah, I mean you can use another grab. part of that if you want. I'll just grab. Okay. Some of these look cute. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get daring. I'm gonna do one with a stem. Okay. Ooh. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So and I'll I just... love to do resin in these as well, but I'm just gonna then basically just kind of sh start shoving it in the mold. Mush away. Actually, mush away. I'm not mush, mush, be mush, that mush. First, I'm gonna start mushy, mushy, with mushy. <laughs> Hey, Cassie's watching. Hey, Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Cassie. How are the boys today? Cute little boogers and little cute potatoes. This is like a fun thing to do with Phoebes. Oh, yeah. I still have to get her a zhuzh it up shirt. 
I've not done that yet. A blue one, because you said that was her favorite color. So, and then you can either use your fingers or a stick or a credit card, not one you want to use for I've shopping. I've never a credit card for a long time. Um, no? Okay. And you're just going to start pulling off okay. the excess. I have to give myself some excess first. I don't and a here. lot of times I just use my thumb because I feel like, I don't know, I'm, I'm very much a... You're handsy like that. Like, I, or, I, or, I'm or, handsy. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a good way to say that where it didn't sound not PG, but... Girl's handsy. All right, so we're just kind of pulling off. Yeah, I like to work with my hands. I, I, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm very much a It's actually a easier that way, it feels. I, I mean, some people prefer it with the stick, and it depends. Sometimes if I'm doing a lot of them, right. I do because, you know, after a while it gets, you know, your fingers can get sore. Right. Or if I'm doing, like sometimes the long skinny patterns, the borders, like in that one over there, um, I find that the stick helps with that just because it's like long and straight right um, all right so all right i also like the pressure of the stick because it kind of helps push things down into the nooks and crannies that's true yeah um and then once you've got it in there and you've got it cleaned off pretty well okay then all you're gonna do literally is you're gonna take it and you're gonna turn it upside down wait am i good do you think yeah. Is that enough? It's not going to be too thin on the edges? I don't think so. All right. So you're going to turn it upside down. Upside down. And using your thumb, you're okay. going to push it out. Okay. Yay. <gasps> look at me. Look at me. <gasps> look how cute. Look how crafty you are today. Wow. Yeah. This and if there's any cool. little edges, like where you didn't get it quite off there, yeah. you can either just roll them off or pick them off with your fingers. However. Okay. And cute. Then... That was fun. All right, what else? What are, you doing? are you just getting? I'm just are you to open the glue? You are adhering as we go, kind of thing. Yeah, I oh. like to adhere them as I go, or at least okay. start to. Even if I don't adhere them right away, I like to just sort of, like, start stacking them around, if you will. You know, just so I kind of know. Look! Look who it is! Somebody who doesn't want to be named. Anna and Jennifer on our live. Rude. So I'm gonna add maybe a leaf here. I'll just right. do a little leaf. A little and we're just going to start stacking these out. And one of the nice things is, while you're opening stuff, Sue, if you want to open that wise all <laughs> top coat, that'd be great. We can't get that open either. Yes, please. So we're just going to adhere these with wood glue. Okay. Um, this is Type Bond 2, which is my favorite wood glue. Yeah, that's actually a really good one. I have that at home that I used to. So here's this. Let me give one little cup to her, one little cup to me. Thank you. I'm gonna make this little guy here. Sue has what we call gator grip. Yeah, she really does. She really is like, in, like she can just grip whatever and open it usually. Usually, the bottle is collapsing under my grip. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. All right. So there's some for you. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So I just like to layer them, however. Okay. However, if you like it. Just stick them. Some but it is. Stuff. It's a lot like Play-Doh. It is, and it's actually really easy to work with. And I'm doing it with one hand, and it's seriously, it's there's nothing to it. As long as I get it all in there, all right, and then... Yeah, it's coming. There we go. Thank you, Miss Seal. So, and the reason that you turn it over is because you don't want to be pulling on the clay or the modeling material. So when you just do it like that one just basically fell out, okay. right? You you want to you want it to maintain its like its shape. Yeah. So you're just pushing it out. Like now we're gonna paint over this fairly quickly. We're not gonna let it all dry first. And so because of that, we're gonna get some cracking. Which that's okay. your intent, isn't it? Who here doesn't know that I love cracky chippy things? I might have known that. If anybody doesn't know that, you haven't you have been paying been attention. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's the only that's the only excuse that there can possibly be. Exactly. I don't even remember what this freaking leak looked like before, so I don't know where I'm at with this. Yeah, so this is where like I take my thumb okay. and I just start pulling on the edge. Okay. And if you just start pulling on the edge, It'll see how it in there see how it's oh. just kind of okay. pulling it off. Gotcha. And this is like a little thin, so like, kind of I just, I just kind of keep Okay. I keep pulling at it. Okay. And it's also true you can use hot glue on these, isn't it? Yes, you can yeah, use hot glue. Yeah, just showed us. So, um, and I did this on something, and it works just fine. Um, the only thing I don't like 
is hot glue is very bubbly. Mm. And so you will sometimes get bubbles. Um, oh, yeah. And it takes a little while for the hot glue to cool down. That's true. So yeah, you can't can pop it up. out until your hot glue is dry. Gotcha. Yay, what else? What else? Hmm. <laughs> Anything you want. Let me see. Oh, these look cute. I might make a little cluster of these guys. The bigger your piece is, obviously, the harder it's going to be, or the more intricate your piece is, the harder it's going to be right. to get out in, in perfect form. Um, I do find, like, the little bees... I tend to lose their antenna. Oh yeah. It, if it's really important to me to keep their antenna <laughs> and their little and their little feet, because they're so their little knees, the bees knees, little bees, bees, knees, bees knees, because it's so <laughs> delicate, I tend to do those in resin. Okay. Um, and I just sense. use the ten minute resin. Okay. Um, so I it's often when I ha when I'm doing a ten minute resin project and I have any leftover resin, I actually will make little bees. That way, if yeah. I ever want them for a project, right. I have them made already. Like that's a good use of my leftover, okay. my leftover resin. So, all right, you guys, it's Monday, which means this past two days was the weekend. What y'all do? What dumpsters did you get into? any good I went to an estate sale I went to the same estate sale three days in a row wow but it was because that everything he had in there was white and distressed and it looked stunning and oh, it was wow. priced just to the point where you'd almost sell it for that like if it was to come down 25% I would have considered but it was as, like he wasn't doing it through an estate company it was him so all three days the prices were the same I'm like dude you got to go 25% 50% you know how that goes yeah he wouldn't have it Super nice fella. I'm right up from my house. Well, I went three days in a row. And every day I'd come in and he'd be like, you see anything in here you can't live without? I'm like, dude, you just asked me that like two days ago. I'm here every day. But anyway, what are you doing? You're gluing now? I'm just going to glue. You don't have to glue. You don't have to glue. Well, I'm not, I don't think I am yet because I'm not sure exactly where everything's going. But yeah, and you probably need at least a kind of a big, a like a, a bigger piece maybe yeah. in there. Um, but I can... Just start laying the groundwork for kind of a layout on my side. And because we're doing this and we're tag teaming this, this is probably not going to be symmetrical. I can't say it's probably, imagine. probably not going to be at all. all right, it's going to be a, a work of, of flowers and flora. It will be that. Flora and, flora. and because this is nice and bendy, um, I can, and I'll, I'll lift this up to show you here in a second when I get this other one on, I can actually... Oh, you can put it I can, onto. I can, yeah. yeah, I can, like, have it flow over the edges of things. Okay, that makes sense. Becky Fisher says good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Afternoon. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Here, Depending on where you are. I yelled at the last person that did that, and Melissa's is like, they might not be from this area. That's true. I just want to make those work okay. out because I was going to move this way. Just so you can kind of see how I'm holding it over there. We'll, we'll take you in for a... Yeah, we'll a closer in. a closer look when I'm just gonna put another. Do you need more? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I just am, you know. I'm trying to figure debating out on what I want to do. I know. It's so much fun to just sit and play with these. When I first saw these, I am not gonna lie. I saw these in Urban Design, which was Rebecca Trimble's store, okay, which is no longer exists. Right, uh, it closed sometime earlier this year, I think. Well, right around. Yeah. Right around COVID. Okay. I, I don't think it closed because of COVID. I know Rebecca sold it, and um, to the same people who bought my store. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's um, right. It but is, then, it is since I think with I think right around COVID, it just altogether. They're it was done. just too much. Yeah. Um, to keep all, I think they bought a third one too, and I don't. I think I think my store is the only one that stayed. Ended up staying. Yeah, one of the three, as it was like another. There was one going out of business. Yeah, and Rebecca just wanted to focus on her customs. I think. Right. Um. And which so, she's amazing at. Yes, she which really she is, is amazing at. Yeah. And and so she just didn't want to be in the store anymore. I think is the how that went and there was somebody who was interested in buying it so okay um so she sold it and it closed but 
Um, that wasn't really the point of where this was started. <laughs> um, just people who are curious and ask all the time. Right. Because I do tend to know things because, you know, being in the industry and all. Right. And anyway, I saw these and I saw these also um, watching some of the different YouTubers that I like to watch. Okay. And they have molds. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Why would anybody want to buy these? What are you going to use them on? <laughs> What aren't you going to use them on? And then I decided that I would buy the mermaid one from IOD because I had a specific piece in mind that I really wanted it for. I was doing a desk that uh, I was doing maps all over and stuff, and mm -hmm. I wanted the mermaid to be the hardware. And so I decided I would resin the hardware with the mermaid. I really liked that. And then I started playing with it, and I'm like sticking mermaids on like you know, everything. I remember your mermaid phase. I was sticking mermaids on wine bottles and every, and all these little buggers were selling like crazy. Mm -hmm. All kinds of mermaid handles. Yeah. We got yeah. everything. Like mermaids were like, I was putting mermaids on, you name it, I was sticking a mermaid mm -hmm. on it. And, uh, and I enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, they were big you sellers. know what? I made one of these and that wasn't the one I was thinking it was going to make. And so I've got an extra one okay. if you want. I'll take it. I'm and just so you know, out. Becky's in California, so it is morning. Oh, see? Okay. I hope everything's good in Bakersfield. The place is nuts out there. Um, yeah. I meant to do this sure. one and I did that one because that one's my favorite, but I meant to do this one. Oh, but I did I'll that one because that's my favorite. And, you know, it's just, you're, you're naturally I'm like, drawn, I'm like to, that drawn one. to it. Like a moth to a flame. Um, April Day says hey. Hi, Miss April. So then I ordered this mold and another one that's got leaves. Cross just history. Oh, yeah. There's another one. Oh, it's this one down there. That one. one. Nope. The one in your hand, right? Nope. Three down. This one. That one. This one. And then I ordered that one. <sighs> Super cool. And then I did a tray that had molds like all over it. I must have spent two days doing nothing but making molds for this tray. This is like any craft. Once you buy one, you're, you're going after another, oh, yeah, and, for another sure. and another and another. And then, and then that was it. And then it was like, okay, now I must have all of them. I must have all the molds. I must have all the molds. All the molds. It's vital that I have all the molds. All of them. Now, how do you store this clay? Um, because it, it is air drying clay, you must store it in an airtight container. Okay. So it comes in airtight containers. We do recommend, although I admit that I don't, um, we block baggies would be good. Yeah. We recommend mm -hmm. that you store it in a Ziploc bag, um, probably in the airtight container that it comes in. Just done with this. Is that thing even feeling better? No. Is your arm not getting any better? I still can't feel my thumb. Oh, holy cow. Ugh. But I can, I just can't grip anything, but I can roll things. I Who think. was here last week when we broke Teresa? Oh, it's been a week today. It has been. Mm, I just should be better. zigged when I should have zagged. I should know better. That's just the signs of old age. Did anybody else see us break Teresa? <laughs> what did you name that episode? Did you name it? <laughs> the episode where the we broke Teresa. The day we broke Teresa. Doing little ones. But the good news is somebody bought my door like that day. I know. I think it was out of sympathy. <laughs> sympathy buy. We'll take it. We're not proud. Do you want me to run in front of a truck? Maybe they'll buy this. No. This no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Okay. Aw, uh -huh, thanks. <laughs> we love you. Got too many chairs to let you go. So much love that did when you, I'm not here. Did you did you hear her? What did you say? What did you say? What a look, look, look you. All right, what did she say? Tell me what she said. Might have been something about chairs. Cha if I see one more chair come in this place, although I did hear. Look, we got witnesses saying that they, they said, don't break her, and, and that they all seen you get in How was so. she going to paint a chair? <laughs> I just don't want to paint any more chairs. Got that yeah, cool Sue, Sue said, so we have too many chairs to paint to break you. <laughs> Why does this not surprise me, <laughs> Miss Sue? Hey, I painted five me. chairs for you. I know you did. I know. And that was before your sympathy. I know. I got to figure out a way to get you to paint five more. <laughs> I was going to say, there's like 25 more back there. Yeah, well, you know, we got a custom now. Heather took a custom. We had a discussion about custom. Well, yeah, it's but not you... custom, 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 but it's... 
I'm sorry, is there different versions of custom? Well, we would have done this to this table anyway, I think. Well, if that's But you the did case, say you would do the base painting. I'll do whatever you tell me. That's why you pay me. I just like to paint. It's not going to be white, is it? Not completely white. She's lying. That face does not lend to be one of, of me believing her. Oh, it was, it was going to be a white? It's going to be a painted similar to Rebecca's table. But they wanted square with a leaf. The one that just sold. And six chairs. Okay. Well. So it's more like a grayish, like, I'll help you out where I can. Like I said to the girls, I'm going to quit my job and pursue anxiety full time. <laughs> Why do that? You've got it here already. I can do both. Exactly. <laughs> I can work and be anxious. <laughs> oh, well, that is why I stick around. Look, we meet all your needs. We really do. Look, I can't we, we let you paint. away. We let you paint. everything we got. <laughs> we let you paint and be anxious. And be anxious. I'm anxiously painting. Okay, you know what else is making me anxious? The fact that I started too small on these. All right, I'm going to see how this looks. Get out of there, little buddy. Oh, you look stupid. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I cut his little stem off. It's fine. I gotta get some bigger ones. I just can't roll this clay. I mean, I can. But it's hard with missing a, a hand. Know. But I'm gonna try and I'm still gonna give it my all. All right. So I'm gonna glue a couple of things. I it's fun though, yet. isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Cause then all this will be painted over, and it'll just be like a blended part of the. Yeah. Are you gonna paint the flowers individually, or is everything gonna be one color? Everything's gonna be one color, and then I may do some dry brushing over it to add some extra oomph over the flowers. Extra At this point, I don't you know. know. You know, it takes a while to get to this point, so I don't even know if we're gonna get to painting over it today, to be honest. Yeah, these these um, molds just take a little time mm -hmm. to get them done yeah. properly. This may have to be like a two-part, and we could finish it on, on like on like Wednesday, which is normally our thrift day, but mm -hmm. um, this was kind of a thrifted piece. It was, and we'll just make it pretty. So we, you know, we may, we may do this as a two-parter. just buttering my biscuit. Are you using modeling <laughs> clay today? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Modeling clay and Prima, or redesign molds, mm -hmm. and a mirror that's been sitting back there since the beginning of time. Yeah. Get Bye. Thanks, bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Can you give me that flourish? Wow, did I just know what that was? Who am I? Who are you? Who am I right now? Seriously. I don't even know. That was a total guess on my part. <laughs> All right. You guys have any questions about what we're doing? never ask questions anymore do you just yeah what sit happened? and wait for us to has anyone out there played with these molds before and what did you make yeah i'm very I curious love these things. i mean you could put these they on are furniture fun. on books on vases on frames i mean it's it's really the possibility they really ones. are pretty when you put them on like clear glass and paint the glass over it which you can get really inexpensively mm -hmm. at the thrift store right or um leftover wine bottles I did a lot with the leftover wine bottles and then um would like wrap twine around the neck of the wine mm -hmm. bottle okay and that was fun trick just just a keynote on those things it looks better you'll have a better result if you do a base coat on the glass before you do your your modeling material okay and the reason and I learned this the hard way Oh, well, we best way to learn. So you don't have to. Um, I, I learned that you can see, like if you can see into the bottle or into the vase, you'll see the, the glued object. Yeah. You'll, like yeah. it'll be white and then, and then you'll see the paint. That's so true. it looks better if you can see inside like a vase or something like that. If you actually paint it first, it'll be more. Even sense. or whatever, it'll look it'll look nicer because I made that mistake and I was like, oh dang, I didn't think about that. Yeah. Um. So some do sometimes have to reverse engineer things a little bit. Um. This, it does look really cute that way though. Yeah. And these are actually some of these like the one I'm doing right now are actually made to be used like on furniture and stuff. 
where okay. you, would, you would add, if you have a really plain leg on a furniture piece, you would add these to the the plain part and it would add, it right. would create like the wood, the wood detail, sort of like the wood you bed and stuff, but out of resin or right. clay. All right, if you could please do a recap, what modeling material are you using? So we're using Redesign by Primo's modeling material. Mm -hmm. And this is a mirror that you're using. This is one that we got. Um, a thrifted mirror. Thrifted. Yeah, basically thrifted. thrifted. Um, and then the glue that you're using is the Type Bond 2. It's the Type Bond 2, which is just a regular like premium a wood glue. glue. I pick it up any hardware store. The modeling material we sell, the molds we sell, um, you can go to uh, ravehomecollection.com to pick those out. We sell a wide variety of them. We carry just about all of them. Yeah. Um, if we don't have one in stock, it's only because, well, we sold out. Right. Um, we do sell quite a few of them. But I really thought these were the most ridiculous things that I'd ever seen. Isn't that funny? And now you genuinely adore them. And now them. I love them. Like, I, for a while, I would just sit at night and have a little craft table up mm -hmm. and sit and watch TV with my family and be sitting there making molds. And they really do look good on, on the furniture. Yeah, because it, it just looks like it's part of the wood when you get it all painted. It and it, you'd never know that it was an addition. And after. some furniture is just so boring, kind of like this mirror. Yeah. We'll take care of that, though. And you don't have to layer it like we're layering now. I mean, you can just do super simple little flourishes, and it makes a big difference. But, you know, if you have the opportunity to go big and, and really nice. put a lot on here, why not? To watch what people do with these things on the videos, oh my goodness, people can go crazy with yeah. them. It's great. Yeah, if you want to see some really good videos of people using molds, now there, she's using IOD molds, and we don't sell those. We sell the redesign by Prima, but for the most part, they're similar. Right. Um, if you watch uh, Debbie's Design Diaries, which, yeah, that's just look up Debbie's Design Diaries, and look up her anthropology hack oh my god where she's used it on a dresser to mimic one of anthropology's pieces and then there's another really beautiful one where she did a seahorse and um just basically the seahorse drew, one was amazing just basically drew out the seahorse with you know with pencil or whatever and then filled in using the little molds all different little shapes and all styles different little shapes and, and styles it, it was neat and that was just absolutely stunning um she's talented i just like watching her stuff yeah and she's where i actually got the idea for the using the the mermaid as hardware oh okay yeah she did it on a piece on a mermaid piece that she did and that's where i got that idea so um very cool so yeah, look even the big one's pretty cool nice oh, i can't even get all my clay out that it's too much like work <laughs> only with one hand because it's not hard oh at all. sure yeah you, it's you're, definitely you're one-handed you've, you've got a little bit of a disadvantage yeah, I'm, I'm doing a whole bunch of littles and hopefully they, hopefully they come out we'll see so this might not be symmetrical but they'll be they'll end up, it'll end up being balanced yeah so i'm trying to keep an eye on sort of what you're doing and it's not gonna make me do anything different because i'm still just trying to get these things out did you need a credit card or something no, <laughs> you want to stick. stick, but I think I'm just gonna. Somewhere around here, I saw uh, one of the scrapers for the. Yeah, there's one up right here. Yeah, right there. Oh, all right. That'll help push it in and give you a nice smooth Let's back. Make it even. All right. Some Do I need to get you something to put all the little excess bits in? Get you a bowl. I have nothing but bits over here now. Nothing actually. But bits. There's, um, you know, we're probably going to need to open another. Yeah, because like all I have left. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get her a bowl and then we'll get you another. Okay. Yeah. I'm basically just left another with crumples right now. But last year I did these on um, all kinds of pumpkins. Yes. And we might have one of the pumpkins we here. We do. I did one on a skull and it sold over the weekend. I, I was going to say we have it. But it sold. It oh, sold. That's yeah. Awesome. Um, so that was like hugely fun. I did it like, like a sugar skull, basically. Thank you, Miss Sue. 
If you've seen those, you know, yep. did it all. Uh, it's drying out the water bottles over on this table. What are we doing? Oh, if it gets too dry. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to open up. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. You wanna bring that pumpkin over here too? I know, she's like the, <laughs> she's, she's she like the, the gopher. Okay, I can order more. Well, we have we have smaller ones, but I'll sell the smaller ones and you open the big one. Yeah, she knows the lady who owns the place, so it'll be fine. Oh, wait, she owns the place. Yeah. Oh, I need to probably write that down. I think Let's see, with two fists and one pumpkin and one thing here's of modeling the, clay. Here's the pumpkin. I know we've showed this before. And but it's, that's just all it. molds. Yeah. That's with the molds, and then we got the metallics on there. And super, super pretty. It's really cool. It's a fun way to make a a super generic piece. I was in, um, J not Joanne's, Michael's yesterday, and they had plain pumpkins, just plain, um, that size and bigger, and they started at forty dollars, just the plain that that same material but plain. So you get something like that. I mean, come on, it's crazy. Yeah, it really is. I'm gonna do some smaller ones to kind of mimic your smaller ones. All right, let's try it out a little bit. All right, I'll take some of these. Oh, I do love this one. This one's like so awesome. Oh, that. Was I supposed to get something else or was that it? That's it. I, I think that's all. I'm on it. You're on it. Right. We have a big live studio audience. We do. We've got, we've got new people in our audience today. Ooh, it's in studio audience member. Woo! <laughs> That's not really loud. Okay, now I feel like I'm being watched. We'll, we'll do a move. Never mind the six people that are actually watching, watching us, but I, if I see you watching me, I can't look at you. Hey, there's more than six people in there. I know. I'm just being a, I'm being a There's head. hundreds and thousands of people watching. Let's just get you nervous. Why not? Maybe I can bust my other wrist. Can I have some more clay, please? They're so needy. I know. I mean, I need the clay in order to make the clay. All right. Yeah, mine looks dumb. What? That looks dumb. Why does it look dumb? I don't know. I'm not going to make one Stop of these. Stop with your low self-confidence, I'm going to make one of these. Stop with your low self-confidence, lady. Don't compare. Know that you're the best there is and you're doing great. Aw. You're awesome. Of, what a bunch of hooey. No. You're right. I'm just trying to get in the same size because I do have a bunch of little ones over here only because I can only roll a little bit of this at a time with my hand. I'm doing it. You're doing it, man. I'm You're doing, doing it. it. I'm going to make a little... I don't know what this thing is. I think is. you should have one of every mold going around the frame. And you need to be... settle down is what you need to do this to. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's a suggestion. Show them the color that we're going to use today for this, if we get that far. If we get that far. If not, we'll do it on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, we're going to use Dixie Belle's Apricot. Which I don't think we've ever used before on our lives, have I don't we? Think so. I don't think so. I think that I, I believe I opened that to um, do the bathroom. At my house, the sun, <laughs> the sunrise right. or sunset, sunrise, sunset. Something with the sun. Yeah, something with the sun. See what you don't know is happening right at this very moment is we have a brand new employee who don't is sitting. Don't make us drag her in front of the camera. Who is sitting? We'll do it. Who is sitting her watching and learning who her boss is? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and probably being terrified as to what she's gotten herself into. You signed on for it, lady. Actually, right when I now. brought her out here, I thought, this looks pretty tame. It's so quiet out here today. So it quiet. kind of is. Why is it? Yeah, I think I we're just fo I'm just focusing on. This is a pretty detailed. Everybody it is. Working. That's the back rooms today. Yeah. Well, we did break Teresa recently. I know. I'm struggling over <laughs> here. We broke Teresa last week, so. Yeah. It's all right. There's only so much we can do with her. Yeah. <laughs> just put her out to pasture. Put her out to pasture. <laughs> you know, she's done. She's done. Stick her in the back with a paintbrush. We'll never hear from her again. Especially with that row of chairs that's back there. Stop with the chairs, woman. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> I've never heard you laugh that hard in my entire time of knowing you. I'm not even kidding. I had a mix of evil and joy. <laughs> a little bit. A little all bit. those chairs are waiting for you to No, see? no. Because chairs are your favorite. No. You do know this about you. I freaking hate those. I mean, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> I can't even. I'm trying to keep this as PG as possible, but let me just tell you, they're not fun. I'm pretty sure there's 20 back there. Like, real real life. I'm pretty sure there's 20. I'm going to fling myself right I off the bat. Just know that you've got to recover them all. I can. I can help you. 
Can That's you? That's my you favorite to... thing to do. Really? I and thought making tumblers was your favorite thing to do. Besides, many of besides making your awesome cups. That's right. And She's really good with the upholstery, though. And then we got this special order. So there's six more downstairs. Oh, I swear. I signed on for this, didn't I? Well, that's, yeah, you actually asked for it. I did. I, you asked for it. Did. You didn't just sign on. You. It wasn't like, Teresa, what do you think about? It was Melissa. You know what please, I'd really please. like to do? And you know what's funny? We had a meeting, Jessica and Melissa and I, about some store things. And one of the things was, you know, here, here's what's going to happen and here's what's going to happen. And we're going to have, um, get a full-time painter. I don't know what you said after that. Like, I stopped listening after that. <laughs> All I was thinking in my head was, how can I painter. make this work for me? I kind of like that idea. I totally, I, I didn't hear anything else you said. Should yeah. I have no, Yeah, the next thing I, I said was no. <laughs> then there was that. <laughs> Because I saw your head go that way, and I said no. You did, didn't you? I and I said no. I'm trying to be. I tried to be. And then you came and asked me, and I was like, okay, now I can't actually say no. No, I can't say no. You could say no. I mean, I you could. could. Sometimes she seems no. really mean, but she's a big softy. She's never mean. She thinks she's mean. She is not mean. No, people tell me I'm mean. Well, they. What do they know? I mean, you can be. You can be. I am just scary. I. I I'm scary. You can be scary, like your evil laugh a minute ago. <laughs> All right. I am I'm just very on. real with people, and people are not accustomed to that. Yeah. People are accustomed to people telling them what they want to hear. That's some crap right there. Melissa Nobody just wants you to be happy doing what you're doing. Exactly. And I think she sensed that. Which is why I get to paint 75 freaking chairs. Okay. I'm so happy. Got to be careful what you wish for. I know. I was just going to say the exact same thing as Sue. But right. you did ask for it. I did. And you know what? I wouldn't want it any other way. I'm but seriously, there are so there's a set of six that actually need the back reupholstered. And then there's a set of eight that. There's a set <laughs> of, in my head. That's eight. Not to jump to, that's 14 chairs. There's a set of eight that's I that. To there's count four that, that, that need to be upholstered. Oh, there's four that other four others that need to be reupholstered. Um, and then there's six downstairs. So can yeah, one set of those be a blue that's or a green? 24. That's, They're all going to have to be six. white, aren't they? No, they won't all be white or gray or black. I mean, okay. Say no more. Yeah, that's probably going to happen. All right. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah, the possibility of them being those colors is a girl can dream. It's strong. You need to get me one set that I can just go haywire with. And just I'll get it, do that. Get it super cheap so we can paint it whatever the freak color I want. And if it sells, it sells. And if it I'll doesn't, do we repaint it. And right. by we, I mean me. Sue will do that. I know she will. Will you? Yes. Okay. Not right away because I have 65 freaking chairs to paint, but at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the ones out that will actually sell. All right. But, you know, we don't paint, paint all white as much as some stores paint all white. No, that is true. I mean, white sells. I mean, if we're being real, it does. But so does, so does color. Like, the last few things that have sold have not been white yeah, here. No. So. And I would actually venture to say we sell, we sell more colored things than we do non-colored things. I would agree with that. More than white, more white. But that's not particularly true in dining sets yeah. because they're so classic. Right, and it's a big, big piece purchase. of furniture. Yeah. I've started following somebody on Facebook that all she does is refurnish the chairs and paint them. And she goes with the bright, bright colors and this Oh, yeah. I love, I love her. Oh, that's oh, my Her God, big I thing is it. her fabric choices are so, so they're, incredible. They're statement chairs. They're beautiful. But yeah. it's just chairs. But they're, so but they're dining it. chairs. They're dining and occasional chairs. And they're fabulous. Yeah, I follow her, too. Oh, well, that's interesting. But, I mean, you really can. I mean, you just have to get the following. Right. That's that's the hard part is yeah, is getting the following right. Once you're there, once you're though. established, you're good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What's your name? Um, okay. I'm just trying to so figure out how. Connie's with us now. Hey, hey Miss Connie. Connie. Connie says white is too aesthetic. It's true. It's like sterile to me a little bit, but I have to say I do love a white distressed piece of furniture with the dark wood dark coming wax. underneath. I just think that's super beautiful. If I'm going to go with white. So we all talk about the fact that I love to follow Jamie Ray. Um, I do not understand how five kids, even though one of her kids has just gone to college, <laughs> how she's got this farmhouse and she just painted her floors white. <laughs> white? Girl. 
Girl. White mm -hmm. floors. More power to you, but that five can, kids. That'd be the first and last time those floors will be white in my house. And I have one kid and he doesn't live with me. It would really be my husband and I screwing this up. Hey. And your poor Poochie had surgery this week. Yes, he did. Little Stephen Francis is now Stephen Francis with a high pitched bark. He's <laughs> a yipper now. He is. He's, he's so good. He's got this cone of shame on now. I was wondering if he still had the cone of shame. He, he's got to have it on for two weeks. Oh my gosh. Yes, two whole weeks. And he gave the vet gave him some anti anxiety medicine because he's a he's a puppy, so he's a little bit anxious and not anxious, but you know. Full of energy. All right, time for a recap again. All okay, right. so recap is we are taking this thrifted mirror um, that was previously spray painted and not particularly well, and we are adding molds. We're using Prima molds and modeling material. Modeling material. Well, oh. sorry, wrong side. <laughs> the material. Blank tub of material. Modeling material, and we are using. Some tight bond three wood glue, and we are adhering them stuff. to the. Can I? Can I? You can because. Um, oh, you're doing them. Okay. This. Okay. These are pretty long. Um, they tilt up. And we are adhering them to the mirror as so. Pretty neat, huh, guys? Not too shabby. And the corners, and we'll go up. I think I'll do that corner so these are balanced, and then you and can then do, I'll that do the two little smidges here. Hey, my bell works. It's it's good good hey, the doorbell works. Oh yeah, I forgot to take that out and charge it. I guess the bells do. No, she did. Okay. Thanks. Wow. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, maybe that's a delivery. We have furniture on order. I heard. We need it. We need furniture that's shipped, actually. We should order some Not chairs that are painted already. They are. I have six, 12. Nice. 10. I don't know how many. A lot. A bunch. Chairs. A lot. Some chairs. A large mm -hmm. number. A chair. massive amount. Oh, good. And our classic home rep was here this last weekend. I heard that too. That's awesome. And she kept pointing out things that would do well in our store. And I kept saying, yes, I know. I have two of those on order. <laughs> if you could just ship them to me, that would Can be great. Can I please have them? Thanks. Oh, great. If you could just ship them to me, that would be amazing. I would love that. Sandy, are you new? Because your name doesn't look familiar. We're happy to have you with us today. Thank you for Yay. joining us, Miss Sandy. If there's any questions, shout them out, folks. Shout them out. Yep, let us know. Say hello. Let us know where you're from. Where are you from, caller? Oh, wait. That's the wrong show. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that uh, they used to always say on Frasier? Oh, I miss that show. <laughs> I love that show. You're talking about Frasier, not the... Yeah, not the show Frasier. Every time you would answer the call, the call and say something. Was, I, I can't remember what it was, though. Didn't realize there was a specific thing he said. There is. I did love that show too. Though. Yeah, I like the show. Hey, Sandy's but... from Jacksonville. Oh, hey. Hi, hi, hi. The um, the housekeeper was my favorite. Oh, I forgot about her. Niles and the housekeeper. Oh wait, the housekeeper. Wait. Yeah, that was her. That was her. The, it was the one who took care of the the one that took care of the father. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 The British. Oh yeah. Lady. That's the one who Niles. Yeah. Ended he ended up marrying her. Yeah. That's... But, like, he just had the hots was... for her for the longest time. Yeah, I thought they were just sweet. <laughs> it was just funny. I thought it was hilarious. I'm just making a bunch of stuff to put over And there. Lilith. I loved Lilith. <laughs> she was just a, a dry, just funny, sarcastic. Yeah, she show. was great. She was one of the best characters. I don't think she was supposed to be a reoccurring. Actually, I don't think Fraser was supposed no, to be a reoccurring. No, I don't think he was either. Either on Cheers. And then... Um, they were popular. And then he did so well, they made him reoccurring. Becky says she had a dog named Joshua who had to wear a cone. Aww. And he would try to go through the doorway and he'd run into the edge with the cone. And then he'd have to back up and back to the doorway. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had that similar problem with our dogs. Oh and we had to buy, they make, they make ones that are smaller and they're blow up. And so we had to get Zoe those because get, get her one of those because she couldn't get into um we have gates in our house and oh. she couldn't get through the gates with her cone that's 
Stevie scares himself because I had to move his food and water bowl away from the wall because his pony wouldn't let him get to the food. Get to the food. And I have, he sleeps out in the living room now instead of in bed with us because I don't want him jumping on the bed and then jumping down. So we get up in the morning and he's laying like with his cone against the door of the bedroom. Bless his little heart. All right, that's got a question. Yes, yes. She says, when would you choose to use the resin versus using the modeling clay? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, indeed. Um, so if I'm typically, if I'm doing furniture um, and I do not want it to chip or crack, then I will use resin. It keeps its true form. It keeps the its true form, okay. right? Or if I'm doing like hardware, okay. um, that's going to have to be resin because the clay is too soft, okay. right? Um, so that's typically when I use resin. You can do it any time, but the answer really is if you need it to really be perfect in shape and size and incredibly durable. Okay. Um, hot glue works really well for a lot of that as well. I personally wouldn't use hot glue on furniture too much just because it's, um, it gets little bubbles in it because of just of how it comes out and i don't like that look okay yeah, you can't really bounce the bubbles out of there because it's so viscous right yeah good word though oh nice use of the word viscous in a sentence or for big words today good so job. so for me that's kind of the difference you know i could do this project and use resin or hot glue but this would take forever yeah because it's not it's, I don't think it's any faster personally to do hot glue versus resin. Is it done for that or is it done for expense or both? Like this what? isn't very expensive. Hot, like hot glue versus, versus a, glue. and I don't actually, I mean, I think hot glue is kind of expensive to be honest. Oh. Um, so, I'm and you use, I mean, you're going to use like for, for something like the size of this leaf, yeah. you're going to use a stick of glue. Okay, well that would that adds up then price wise. So again, I don't think it's a whole lot cheaper than resin. Okay. Um, the difference maybe cleanup mm. is is different because you know if you get resin and it gets sticky everywhere, it's really hard to clean up. Right. And if you get hot glue everywhere, you just let it you should, just let it dry. Let it dry. Is and the then ten minute resin the, the smelly resin or is that one not smelly? The it so. If you're using amazing casting resin, which is what we sell, it's not stinky. Okay. Um, if you're using, there are other resins like uh, the, let's see, Let's Resin isn't stinky either, but what was it, the Faux, faux Rizzle resin? Did it, you say Faux Rizzle? Faux Rizzle. rizzle. Like Faux for Rizzle. Real, faux Rizzle. <laughs> faux Rizzle resin. <laughs> Faux Rizzle resin like is stinky. Tell the name, man. It sounds like something my husband would say. Faux Rizzle. I'm going to say most of the resins that <laughs> you have to mix for... You're not gluing right now, right? No. Can I turn this just so Absolutely. I can... Absolutely. I'm just making one? a bunch so that we can switch. Um, the, most of the ones that you have to mix initially in a cup turn it for... Again so she can get her corner. For like 10 minutes is going to be stinkier okay. in my experience that's what i remember you did one that was just it had to open every window in the house uh yeah if you have to mix it in like mix it in the first cup for five minutes and then and then pour it in the second cup and mix it for five more minutes okay that's a thing uh, yeah um that's the ones that are going to be stinky in my experience okay but uh, one of the reasons we use the amazing casting resin is because it's low lock. Okay. So, so low to no. Low to no stink. Smell. I mean, there is a smell, but it is not. not it is not a horrible chemically smell. It's just like a smell. Okay. Like you know it's there, but it's not like. Yeah, it's gag like you. it's well, it's like the the modeling material. There's a smell to the modeling material. Yeah. But it's not horrible. Just like there's a smell of Play-Doh. No, exactly. Yeah, you it's know. not going to kill you. I'm just Play-Doh I can eat. I mean, you shouldn't. <laughs> Why not? It's so good. It's so delicious. I, I just, I worry about you sometimes. <laughs> sometimes? I know you're my BFF and all, but... Sometimes. Sometimes. You worry us, Sue. Sometimes you do. 
Hey, you know, you missed the news on Friday. What was the news on Friday? Well, you know oh. about the news. You are the news. the news on Friday because I was busy watching my dog. I think John's get... leaving for the day. Oh. Bye, love. Bye. Um, Bye. See you later. I barely like you. Bye. Ooh. I just want to see his response to that. He never, he never does anything except wave with his one oh. finger. <laughs> the thumb. <laughs> That way with that one finger. With that one finger. Well, that's more news, actually. Oh, oh yeah, fill me in. It. So, so uh, Sue booked a cruise for, for us to go on I in did. December. I did, booked a cruise. We're going in December for my birthday. They're doing them, first of all, apparently, right? At the end of October, they're supposed to start up again. So, as of November 1st, they should be... Wait, wait when in December are you going? Oh, it's stinky, Connie, stinky. Mid-December, December 14th is when we leave. What's stinky? You're going two weeks before Christmas? Yep. I did say, you know, we own a retail store, right? But that's what, exactly what I was going to say, but that's you know what? Insurance. And we have very You're also capable people working. Hands off, and we'll take care of it, so. You guys got this, man. We got it. Well, that's awesome. So where are you going? Does it matter? Or do you not want to tell I'm going to be on a boat with a bunch of drinks and, and sitting in the it sun. It really doesn't matter. But it's supposed to go to Lake Mexico and, and that kind of Grand Cayman. Grand Cayman is in very Mexico. Very cool. Oh. You guys have been waiting for a cruise forever. Ever. Like, we've had the last two canceled. That's awesome. We canceled one, and then COVID canceled the other. Stupid COVID. Stupid it reminds COVID. me, i got to call them today and verify some things, so, yay. That is awesome. And what so, was the other thing? Yeah, what was the other news? Well, the other news is Sue and I are getting tattoos on Wednesday. Oh, we you are? We are getting tattoos. Our very first tattoos. Cramp. Um, do you know what they're going to be? Yes. Yeah. Can I know? Sure. What are they going to be? Um, so I saw this in a group that I'm part of and I went, I need that tattoo. Okay. Um, see, first time, first and only time I've ever said those words. Well, and keep in mind, you get one, you're going to want more. I've heard that, but. I heard it too. And when I got my first one, I'm like, that's bull crap. I'm not. And I've got plenty more since then. Um, so it is the. Um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg collar, the oh, descent, the Ruth Bader cool. Ginsburg descent collar. Okay. On and finger. on our middle finger. Oh, the finger. Go. So that. Go hard or go home with your first tattoo. That's not sensitive at all. <laughs> so that when you do that, mm -hmm. it's right hey, here. Watch yourself. That's, That's pretty really awesome. Oh, you just did that. You can't do that. You can't do that. There's no I was showing where, I was, I was showing where the tattoo was going. Oh. I'm never gonna be able to believe this. And it means I dissent. Because mm, it's, it's her dissent. Mm -hmm. I saw it on, and I went because I because when she when she passed away, I said, I need to get her collar on something. Mm -hmm. I need it like that's gonna have to be my tattoo. And Sue's like, You're gonna get it like cross like a necklace? And I'm like, No, that's that's just that's too not your thing. that's just too bold. I'm not yeah. that's not who I am, you know? I like jewelry too much to Yeah to do that. And, and then that posted like a couple days later and I was like, cause I was thinking maybe an anklet or, mm -hmm. you know, on my foot or someplace yeah, where it could like little... wrap, where it could like wrap mm -hmm. around. And then I saw that and I'm like, that's perfect. That's, perfect. that's awesome. That's really cool. So on Friday, I'll show everybody. Oh, well, it'll probably still be wrapped, but you can probably wrap it by then, right? I don't know. I don't know anything about tattoos you, other than they, they wrap them. Okay. They wrap them, but like they wrap Jake's big forearm one. You're one, they'll probably wrap for a day and they'll just want you to expose it to get some air. Yeah. I can unwrap it and rewrap it. Yeah, for sure you can. Right. Um, but that's cool. So, so in my old age, you'll probably get the tattoo. There you go. At least it'll look you. sharp in my old age, right? That's right. Tattoos are fun. <laughs> I have a bunch of them, but they're small because I get to the point where, okay, that's all the pain I can take. I'm done. No more. This little one's just <laughs> got like seven or eight, but they're just tiny in places that Eventually nobody goes. They'll all, they'll all get put together in one big pattern, one big picture. I will, oh, my son's got the whole sleeve working. Yeah. I just, I love that. And I love them on some ladies too, like the, the shoulder sleeve that comes down, like to here, if it's done right, like floral, I think it's beautiful. I couldn't pull that off, but I just, I love, I love that look, but I just am too much of a wuss for any of that too, so. Yeah, my daughters have many. Yeah, and like, yeah, Lily's got super cute ones. I haven't seen pages, but Lily's just got really There's really only one ones. of Lily's that I like. 
that you like and the rest you don't and or the rest I don't. Oh. Um, but, but I tell her that. She yeah. Knows, she knows. And, and I'm always, you know, my my opinion is it's her body. It, right. That's what she wants to do with it. Like, I think some of them she's going to regret when she's older. Right. Especially because they're big. Mm -hmm. um, and I realize she tells me, Mom, it's different generation, blah, blah. And I think, mm, but you still don't know what it's like to be old. No, and get a 90-year-old <laughs> dude with a set of lips tattooed on his neck. It doesn't look really as good as when maybe you were, you know, 25. Connie says, I like potato chips. Can't, can't stop at this one. Girl, you are right on track there. Well, I've kind of, there's a bumblebee that I specifically draw all the time when I'm bored. And a flower that I draw all the time when I'm bored. And so I have... I have often thought about having those tattooed on my body tunnels. somewhere, and there's a, a rose that John always draws for me that I've thought about. That would be sweet. Um, I said for a long time when I, um, <laughs> there was a time when I had lost enough weight, I was gonna get a tummy tuck, and then I got sick and had to have my gallbladder removed because I lost too much weight, which is great, and then I stopped exercising and put it all back on. Um, because I had to stop, and then, you know, once you stop, it all goes to hand, yeah. hand basket. Mm -hmm. um, but I was going to, when I got my tummy tuck, I was going to have John draw me a belt of roses mm -hmm. to oh. go o over the scar. Okay. Um, Aww. But, you know. I saw one on Reddit today, which I thought was fabulous. Was, uh, I, I'm guessing the woman was, was English because she's, she said that her grandmother had teacups for everybody in the family. They had their own pattern of a teacup. And so she had that pattern of the teacup, uh, little flowers put around her wrist. Oh, and I thought that was neat. really cool. Yeah, that is cool. That's a great homage to your grandmother. That's super original. I like I'd have that. to have cigarettes wrapped, a chain of cigarettes wrapped Stop. around my wrist. Or vodka. I would like to get, and this is just very basic, but I've seen it done, like the, my son's EKG, like if he can get an EKG done, just get his little heartbeat somewhere <laughs> on so me with cute. his, like, with his birth date. It's very, it's very mommy, but I think that would be cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I just think tattoos, I mean, if you're going to have it, you're going to have it for life. Yeah. I, I think it should just something. mean something, mm -hmm. you know, and that's. That's all mine have a significance, so. You know, um, the, the one of Lily's that I do like is a little cat in a spaceship. And a oh, little, I like that one, too. That and yeah, that's, that's a cute one. I think that one's cute. And it's really small, and, you know, it's, it's, it's more dainty. But, like, she's got, like, a skeleton hand, skeleton hands clasping each other on the back of her thigh, and it's like, or the back of her calf, I mean, and it's like the whole size of her calf. And she's got little baby calves. She's got little baby calves. And, like, I don't know, I just picture when, you know, she's 50 in high heels and trying to be dressed up that, you know, that's going to be there. That that's going to be there. And I get it. It was she and her BFF got matching tattoos, and that's basically BFFs for life. Mm hmm Hence the skulls, or the skeleton hands, you know. Oh, is that what that, oh, that's a, okay, that's a cool way to represent that. Um, but, I don't know, it's, but that's, you know, it's not my body, so. I try not to be judgy, even though, as mom, I'm a little judgy sometimes. <laughs> so we're entitled as, as the mom. Yeah, I try, but, you know. It is what it is. Over there. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a big one. Okay. I'm doing a big one. I'm just doing a couple of small things, just to go with my other small ones. We don't have time oh, so. We're definitely not getting to painting, because we are at an hour now. Are we? That's okay. It'll be fun watching uh, watching you paint this. Yeah, we'll get to do this. We'll finish this up on yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, we'll finish sure. this up on Wednesday then, and we'll we'll paint it all up. We'll do some dry brushing. Maybe maybe then we can add some transfers. Metallics. Maybe some metallics. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll we'll really make this fun. Um, yes, we're at an hour already. Good grief! I know it just goes so fast. It flies. It goes so fast. I still have paint on my shirt from the last time we did something. Yeah. And I have to stage this after or tomorrow. I have to stage. Tomorrow. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm on the calendar. Jessica reminded me, sent me a message this morning saying, Don't forget, you're staging tomorrow, which means I have to go preview Pig and Pack today. Oh, yay. I know, it's so much fun. Well, I didn't have but, plans this afternoon. I think it's raining all day. 
it is kind of a good problem to have though, isn't it? The fact that we're so busy. Yeah, that we didn't have enough stagers yeah. to do the jobs that were needing to be done. That's not, yeah. it's not a complaint. Yeah. It's not a complaint. Um, That's I'm not. just like the worst stager on the team anymore because. You are not. Well, it's not the quality of it. It's just time-wise, like. Oh, yeah. I'm, you know, I have to juggle so many things while I'm doing it, and everybody else gets to just go in and focus on. Yeah, she's not quick in and out. The, the girls, man, they go in there, bam, 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 it's done. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to take 14 phone calls and text messages and emails while I'm trying to visualize where things go. And... Yeah, and then you kind of, like, break your concentration, and you got to put it all back together. Well, you remember when I used to, when the warehouse used to be, oh, no, I guess it wasn't when you were there, mm -hmm. were you? When mm -hmm. the warehouse used to be at Linen and Rust. No. No, I wasn't. Because you had, it was right before, right? You had, that was the very beginning you had it there? Yeah, I remember you moved all that out right before I got there. Well, we outgrew that space quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cute. Yeah, it was originally there. And, and I would, I would have to come in and be like, I'm not here. You don't see me. Yeah. I'll just pretend I don't exist. Yep. That's just pretend I'm not done. here. Because otherwise... When I came in, everybody come and ask me questions. It's like every time they'd ask, I'd break my concentration on yeah. like what I needed to focus on. Yeah. To, what you like, were actually there for. Pick to the do. next item. Yeah. It's like oh, I don't remember where I was. Then you can add just a couple more little ones. That's what you're doing too. Oh, I'm throwing a butterfly in. Connie, why have you got gold pieces flying everywhere? What the heck are you doing? Are you gilding? Oh, oh no! <laughs> God, you just that's, opened her eyes. That's like that's like playing playing with glitter. That's so fun. Connie is just so talented. I love gilding. You, you got her focused here now. It's fun. It is fun. It's so fun. It's messy. Three days later, when you took a shower, and you're like, "Where did that gold come from?" Oh yeah, that's from my live a month ago. From <laughs> I just kind of roll You're on. golden. I just rolled on with that. Right. But it is fun and it looks it cool. It is fun, honestly. And, and it looks cool. And you know what? Who cares if you have a little gold on you? That's right. Stay golden. Stay golden, pony girl. Did she say? Is that what she's doing? That's what she's doing. Oh, that's so awesome. fun. I wonder if you could do that on chairs. Blue. I should have just brought you the big gallon of it. I know, right? Now, but I'm out here. This one's gonna need too. a refill for sure. Because I've been doing such big pieces. Yeah. And I'm generous with the glue. Like it doesn't matter that you can see the glue on top and stuff. That I was seeping that out. I noticed you could see it too because you're gonna paint right over. We're it. gonna so paint right over. When it. we come back on Wednesday and these pieces have dried, we'll be able to see how they cracked. Yeah, some of them. Mm -hmm. Before they get painted. Yes. Okay. And I only kept it small because it was small there. That way yeah, no, that makes sense then. Oh, wait, it's at least balanced ish. Yeah, I might fill in some of the like, gaps here. That's good for it. Overlapping. I'm, I'm to the point where my wrist is going, oh, I can't do this anymore. I'm done. It's just a can. But honestly, I like this. Like, I like doing this. I like the it's results. It's a lot of fun, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, and the detail in these molds, I'm telling you, like if you get it in there right and just smooth everything out, you can pretty much see every little detail. Like it's really see, cool. When you get tired of painting all those chairs, you could pull out one of the myriad of mirrors. Mm -hmm. The myriad of mirrors. I need a B. She's going for the B. I just need a B. I have enough sock left that I just need a B. She's going for the B. I have a butterfly, so now I need a B. And I and afterwards, if you like that as a kid, where you got to um, peel it all peel off. it all off your fingers, <laughs> you'll be doing that for like a day and a half. Awesome. All right, B. This one looks less aggressive. Let's go with you. Just remember, you might lose a little antennae, and that's I know, okay. So I wondered if I was going to. I did all right with the well, no, the butterfly lost his little leg. It's just mm. hard. It's because it's tiny, tiny, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. We're gonna give it our best shot here. And I'll, yeah, those those ones you probably want to just have it where it dries in there, huh? And then pop it out. You think? I mean, you can, but 
I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be honest, if he true. loses his little legs or his little right. thing. He's in there, good. I think Let's he's see. still pretty obvious that he's a bee. No, buddy. It's really the body and the wings that I care about. No. Oh, dude. Did, I, see, did you see while I you were gone you last up. week? She melted my phone case. <gasps> what happened? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> the heat gun, apparently. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Apparently, I owe her a new phone case. Hmm. I'm gonna um, Are we good? zoom in. Yep, you zoom in on us. Zoom up a little. Okay, we're gonna take you on a flyby. Just don't get the underside of my chin on the reflection. I'll do my best. <laughs> These are all moving. They're just so pretty. Isn't that cool? Okay, it's getting harder because of the stand. Okay. I don't know. No, but I'm seeing it. There's there. Look, everybody can see awesome. Yay. themselves. Oh, oh. I'm seeing the squat now. There we go. There we go. Little flowers. All right. Ooh, I hope everybody had a bark bucket ready. Was that pretty bad? <laughs> pretty bad flight. April says she can already tell how much nicer that mirror is. Yes, and just picture it being a nice apricot color. That's yeah, so we'll add, so on Wednesday we'll come finish this up, and that'll be our, uh, our make, our uh, thrift haul. Thrift haul. Um, we'll have maybe some other things too to do, mm -hmm. but definitely we'll, we'll finish this up. I think, I mean, I think you can see it's, uh -huh. get the it's gist of it. coming out really cute. And this mirror is ready to hang, like there's D-rings mounted yeah. behind it and everything. And so. it's got the... The D rings where there's actually three, so you could hang it in either direction. Yep, yep. Um, but I think when this is all done, I think, you know, we add, we paint it, we do a little dry brushing, mm -hmm. add maybe a couple of little transfers yeah. just to Clean up the fill in and, and transfers. things. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's super If you, you want to pipe in with suggestions, yeah, type them in and we'll, yeah, absolutely. we'll see what we can add to it. Awesome. I, I really enjoyed this, honestly. It doesn't seem like I did, but I mean, I really did. I like I like the idea of this. And then I get the fun of peeling glue off my fingers for like days. Mine's up underneath my... Anyway, do you want to watch us peel, peel glue? glue? That's like a show for another day. Yeah. That's, a, that's a different show. Um, oh, anyway, so thank you as normal for watching us. We really appreciate your support. Um, anything that you've seen here today, you can get um, here in the store or on our website at rayfoamcollection.com. See rayfoamcollection.com. Right there. And pretty soon we're going to have our cool little chalkboard up that we did on a live once before to put yeah. extra special notes on or advertise sales. I clean up some stuff sales. over here mm -hmm. and, and get that all cleaned up, but it'll be it'll be going up and, and ready to go. Yep, yep. And uh, thanks for joining us. If you are watching us on YouTube, be sure to mm -hmm. like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time we post a video, which I did drop a video at 10 a.m. this morning on a staged property. So okay, cool. if you if you enjoy seeing our staging work, that dropped on YouTube this morning as well. All right, folks. Well, we will see you Wednesday for Thrift Hall Wednesday, and we will finish the zhuzh process. That's right. So see you then. Thank you. Bye. Peace out. Bye.